has being a game dev made you a better gamer? Um, it made me better at League. I don't know if it actually made me a happier gamer though. I think one of the things that kind of sucks about being a game dev is you kind of like see through the curtain, right? You kind of like see how the, you see how the, the burger is made. And that can be really great for things like empathy and stuff. So like sometimes when a game has a problem or a bug or is bad for some reason, you know, a lot of players will be like, what are the devs doing? And I'll be like, I know exactly what the devs are doing. And wow, they actually did a really good job considering those constraints that they had, right? So I think one thing I like about being a game dev is it gives me like a lot of empathy and understanding for what other game devs like experience and how games are made in general, which is just not something you really see into as a player. One of the one things I always like talking about here is uh, when I was a player, I played Skyrim and I would like laugh at all the bugs. It was laughably buggy. And as a player, I was just like, what was Bethesda thinking? They made this game so buggy. And by the way, it's incredible. I still love playing it, but dang, like... Couldn't they have made it so the giants don't punt you in the air and then you crash? Um, and then, as a game dev, my experience with it is, is very different. And, it's, and like as a game dev, I look at Skyrim and I'm like, Bethesda did a technical masterclass on how to make a giant interactive world. Uh, and I only crashed twice! Like, wow, that's actually so good. Like, well done. This is like an amazingly stable and fun and cool game considering how big and complex and crazy it is. And so like, it was really like a, you know, a change in perception where I went from like, players like, why bug, bug bad, devs dumb. And then I went to being a dev and I was like, there's only two bugs? These devs are incredible. They're like, they're, they're so good at not having one million bugs because wow, that stuff is like so, so hard to hunt down, especially like say in a big game like Skyrim. So I think it really gives me like an appreciation of the difficulty of making games. Um, one of the sad th parts about seeing through the curtain, so to speak though, is that there's a lot of games I can't enjoy anymore. Um, and that sucks. Like there's a lot of games that I will play them and I will be done with them within 15 minutes because I'll be like, the devs didn't make the characters fast enough. And I'm upset that the characters aren't fast enough because it feels bad. Why aren't the characters faster? <laughs> and um, and again, that doesn't mean like those devs made a mistake on that game, but it means that like I tend to now hyper focus on like these little little tiny things in games that bother me, um, which I think is a thing where when I was a player and only a player years ago, I wouldn't have even no noticed them. Like I wouldn't have been like this animation feels off. I would have just been like, the game's pretty cool, characters feel okay, but now I'm like. The characters don't feel okay. That animation is two frames too slow. And then it's like, ah! <laughs> um, so, so it definitely, I think, makes it harder to enjoy some games. Um, this is actually something I've been thinking about um, a lot recently with certain like discourses that have come out. Like, do you do you all recall when like I forget which company said it, but there was like some com uh, game company CEO in response to Baldur's Gate three that was saying like don't expect every RPG to be like this. Like Baldur's Gate 3 is kind of like an exception and it's incredible, but like not everything can be like this. And then I think another thing there was like, uh, I think an Ubisoft exec very recently was like, people don't like good games anymore. They only like like the, the best of the best. Like you've heard both of those kind of things, right? Um, and I know there's a lot of people that will flame those comments, right? Like a lot of people like hear those comments and they're just like, well, just make your games better, bro. But um, I think a very real thing as a game dev about those comments is um, the more you play games, the more good isn't good enough. And when I say good, I don't mean bad, but the execs are calling it good. I mean legitimately good isn't good enough. Um, and so I've run into this where you know, if you look at the games you play when you're a lot younger, like legitimately, I don't know if y'all remember this, but like kids will play some really bad games and love them. Like I've been on Roblox and by the way, there's a lot of really 10 out of 10 games on Roblox. There are some incredible games on Roblox. And there's some also some games on Roblox that like are not very good, but there's still a lot of kids who are playing them and loving them. Um, And it was the same thing for me when I was a kid, like I, I had so many games that I, like, I look back on and I'm like, that game was terrible. But as a kid, I like loved it. 
because it's like, you know, it's just like, here's this one thing that my mom and dad got me because they, they knew I liked games, but they didn't really know what games were good. And they got me this game and it was like, you know, some branded low effort, like um, Transformers game that was, you know, not not interesting but you know as a kid i was just like oh my god i'm optimus prime yes right like it's just like uh yeah so what i'm getting at here is as you play more games though your standards go up and up and up and up and up and up um and this is something i run into is i will play games that legitimately i think are like in a vacuum incredibly good games um i'll give an example of this one uh black myth wukong Black Myth Wukong is legitimately, in a vacuum, an incredibly good game. Highly recommend it, you should play it. Um, and certain things about it are like top tier, like it's it's visuals. But one thing to note about Black Myth Wukong is it is not God of War. And after playing God of War, it is hard for me to enjoy Black Myth Wukong as much. And it's not really a reflection on the quality of Black Myth Wukong. It's more a reflection of God of War has absolutely spoiled me in terms of like weighty combat um, in that style, right? And so this isn't a bash on Black Myth Wukong. It's an incredible game, but there's certain things about it that can sometimes feel floaty. There's certain things about it that sometimes feels like your attacks aren't like flowing together and buffering collect correctly. And you know, it's like, I don't know if I'd have those feelings if I hadn't played some of these other games. Um, this is something I, I think about when thinking about uh, Ubisoft games, where uh, you know some people will flame like Assassin's Creed being like you know Ubi Ubisoft open world, right? But like I straight up think most Assassin's Creed games are really, 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 really good. I've played a number of them and I've liked most of the ones I've played, but I will say that the first one that I played was significantly better than the rest. And I think one of the reasons for that is when you play one Assassin's Creed game, you tend to have played most of them, right? So uh, ex uh, more recently, at least. And so it's a thing where it's like, as an example, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey and then I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And while I genuinely think Odyssey was um, probably better than Valhalla, I think I would have enjoyed Valhalla more if I hadn't already played Odyssey. Um, and because, because Odyssey already showed me all that. And so tying it all back, it's like, yes, game companies should make good games. Like we can agree on that. But I think one thing that is complicated in the current gaming landscape is there's a lot of legitimately good games out there that, you know, you're just not gonna enjoy them as much once you've played the really, really insanely good ones, right? And and that's, I mean, I, I guess I would say it's like interesting to think about, right?